Welcome Sagittarius, this is your mid-month tarot forecast for September 2023. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself not resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome, love your support. Now before we start, there is a competition running again this month, so if you want to go into the draw to win the beautiful Enchanted Map Oracle, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, pop a comment down below, you want to win this deck, you'll go into the draw. There's also a 45-minute pre-recorded personal reading with me up for grabs. I'll be looking for a very positive community member. Also, let me know in the comments down below you want to win that prize. You will go into the draw. Now, I will just uh, announce the winners of last month because those prizes have yet to be claimed. So the personal reading was won by Danielle Peak and the Sacred Power Oracle was won by Lisa Jones. So uh, my email address is down below. Make sure to, if you are one of those winners, get in touch to claim your prize. All right, Sagis, let's dive in. So we're going to pull your essential energy from the Journey of Love Oracle. And let's see what you need to know. Ah, you've pulled across the waters. It's kind of interesting. It's almost like she's bridal holding a bouquet of flowers let's pull you up the guidance so Sagittarius you're being called across the waters is crossing a bridge of light from one ocean to a far greater one the waters are your emotional waters holding your feelings your attitudes your expectations your fears and doubts as well as your hopes and dreams it can seem like a lot to navigate. Sometimes our waters feel overcrowded, as if swarms of people were descending into the ocean on a sweltering hot day. Hardly finding a space in the water to cool ourselves, we can feel as though there's just no room for faith, for trust, for peace and love. And there's too much happening in that water. We yearn for the cool, calm mountain lake, serene, giving, echoing a gentle dispensation of grace. You're being called across the waters for out of an overcrowded sea and into the cool spaciousness of an endless lake. So it's time to let go of some mental clutter, some attitudes, some thoughts. Ask for help and bathe yourself in the green and gold rays of healing colour. And just imagine them cascading down around you and through you like a waterfall. It's a bit like you're moving to a new neighbourhood but in a cleaner and more spacious town might feel unfamiliar at first but soon enough you'll enjoy the difference so this oracle brings you a message it's your time to think about something in a different light soon you will have a shift in perspective and a, the feeling of overwhelm stress and too much going on will be replaced with serene trust and peacefulness know that beneath even the most chaotic mind is a place of deep quiet serenity within do whatever helps you dive deep to find it dance rest meditate do yoga write paint make love make music in that quiet serenity within you'll be leaving unnecessary chaos behind and you'll be presented with a gift of a new way forward so a massive message around your emotional and mental orders you know to cleanse them release them open up to more more gentle way of life there's a very brief poem here it says inhaling the soft scent of promised taste the nectar moist upon my lips i savor each sip across my tongue dwelling in the moment's pleasure warm and sweet bathed in tingling thirst i find myself wanting you wanting more which can relate to uh wanting more of life it can certainly relate to love All right, let's have a look at your spiritual guidance. What is it Sagittarius needs to know right now? Hmm, you got two here. Now you got the universal midwife. So perfect time to kick off any new ideas or projects that you have. And you got the ancient grandmother, which is all about the teacher. Yeah. I'm a teacher that leads with self-knowledge. So using all of your experience, your wisdom to help others on their path. She's got a beautiful owl sitting on, on top of her head. And you've got the sacred orchard, which is co-creating with the universe. She's holding a golden apple in her hand. Your abundance mindset set attracts endless blessings. So being in that very, very positive state of mind. And you've got the shining star, which is getting your glow up on. Yeah. 
I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. So accepting your gifts, your talents, um, having faith and confidence in self, trust in self, stepping into the light. I've got to say it's a very beautiful but noisy bird in the garden right now. <laughs> yes. Let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Oh, you've got wonders, the ability to manifest miracles at this time directly related to your projects and ideas. Mm. And you've got purity, which is cleansing self of the past, anything that doesn't serve you. Oh, gosh, you've got purification. Big cleanse going on of your emotional and mental waters, darling. It's <laughs> yes, massive. And you've got standstill here. There's an egret in a very still lake. So if there's any obstacles or blockages in your path, instead of trying to push through them, it's about finding a way around them. So not stopping, right, but working your way around any uh, blockages in your path, uh, timing issues. All right, let's pull you some clarifiers for the energy oracle. First up, let's have a look at you birth and your, your sacred project, the ability to manifest miracles. I've got three here. Oh, there's a contract coming in. It's going to be an important one. It's directly related to your passions. You've got the door to spirit opening, so spirit's watching over you, particularly your life path. And you've got a woman holding a coin, so creating this beautiful sense of uh, security, Financial security, abundance, prosperity. And you've got the sun coming out, this gorgeous shift in renewed hope, optimism, your plan's working out perfectly. Now let's have a look at those of you that uh, want to be a teacher or help others on their path with your knowledge. Okay, some of you are at a state of indecision or a crossroads. Do I go left? Do I go right? So perhaps you've got a few options into what to do with your gifts and abilities. Mm -hmm. Feeling like you're at a crossroads. Oh, you've got a broken heart here. Mm -hmm. And there's a need for you to take some rest and relaxation. So interesting energies playing out. And you've got man holding a heart. So there's new love here. Mm -hmm. Love interest. Let's have a look at this indecision. Okay. It's related to your emotions and it's related to love. So you've got your sacral chakra there, which can definitely be related to your creativity, your inner child, but also to your emotional waters, yeah? And there's a gorgeous caring connection here. So possibly some of you have a choice in love or you're holding yourself back from love and yet there's a beautiful connection here. Let's have a look at this broken heart. Mm, it's holding you back in life, yeah? It's the garden and the gate. So there's things that have to be released so you can move yourself forward. Mm, you need to bring yourself into balance, yin and yang. All right, let's have a look at your abundance mindset. And you've got purity here, which is released in the past. No wonder that's here. <laughs> no wonder. So I need for you to rely on your strength at this time and move yourself forward or the strength to face anything coming up for you that you need to tackle and release. You've got healer of the ages here. So you may need to seek a healer of the ages to help you with that emotional release. Counseling, psychology. Some of you, you've got divine gifts and talents. As a healer, there's so many doors that want to open for you. So many doors you can open. And you've got the angel of love hiding behind one of these doors. <laughs> it's trying to bring love. Yep. All right, let's have a look at you stepping into the light and getting your glow up on. Again, you've got purification over this side and a bit of a standstill. Mm, there's a storm warning going on. So it can be related to your physical body, certainly what's going on with your emotions, yeah, because you've got the world at your feet. Travel, expansion, new chapter in your life that wants to happen for you. You've got to take action, Spirit saying, and move yourself forward. Some of you going on travelling, journey card here. Mm -hmm. You may want to travel. Well, let's have a look at this standstill. Well, you've just got to live in the present moment. Don't future pace yourself and don't recycle backwards. 
directly related to the root chakra. So don't let anything around the root chakra, your finances, hold you back. Let's have a look at this storm warning. Okay, you've got community here. So perhaps some of you want to create a community or there's a bit of a storm going on brewing in your friendships. And you've got the thinking woman. So girls, being very practical and balanced. Yeah. Taking a balanced approach to life. Mm, you've got the throat chakra. So speak your truth. Uh, it can also be a gift and talent of yours. On the bottom of the deck, we've got thinking man. So thinking man, thinking woman, both genders being very practical. Right, this wants to come out. <laughs> this is related to your assignments. Oh, yeah. Contract coming in your coin. You've got Freya, be bold, take risks, be daring, go after what it is you want. We've got the justice card. So if you're going through anything in the legal system, this contract could be something coming in from the legal system. Uh, it's going to be handled in a fair and just manner. And you've got blossoming abundance. So whatever you're working on is just in these early phases or um, it is happening, possibly not as fast enough as you want it just yet. Let's have a look at you being a teacher in your life. Mm, certainly love here. Balancing your emotions. Oh, again, you've got the message to take, a to take a leap of faith. It can certainly be related to love despite what's happened in the past, and you're going through this beautiful transformation. It's going to bring great blessings into your life. So a lot of growth going on. All right, let's have a look at your abundance mindset. I need to do a cleanse. Lots of doors that want to open for you. Yeah, you've got Lakshmi, bright future, stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. Things are lining up for you, Sagis. Oh, you've got Ishtar, putting healthy boundaries in place with people. I'm going to say it's around your time and your energy. Yeah, because it's time for you to follow your passions. Be really true to you, yeah. All right, let's have a look at you stepping into the light. <laughs> Moving around obstacles, speaking up for yourself. Living in the present moment. Oh, yeah, you've got ISIS past life stuff operating. You do not recycle through the past. You're telling yourself the same old story, right? You need to pack it up. Because you've got Carly endings and beginnings. Those of you recycling through the past, you know what? There's a payoff for doing that. And the payoff is that you don't have to move forward. You don't have to get out of your comfort zone. You don't have to start something new. You don't have to put yourself out there for a new relationship because you can just sit there and wallow in the past. Stop doing it, darlings. It doesn't serve you. You've got Carly endings and beginnings. Release the old. Open up to the new. I mean, no one can force you. Life will eventually force you because you've stuck, held yourself stuck for so long. So much wants to happen for you that's positive. <laughs> oh, you got Bridget. Don't back down. Stand up for yourself and do what you know is right. Hello. You've also got boundaries here. So there may be somebody that chips away at your self-esteem every now and again that might be in your friendship circle or doesn't feel like they're close that close to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've got hate or receptivity, allowing yourself to receive. So do as much as you can and then allow that flow to come back to you. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the crystal healing deck. Having a look at this top row all about you launching your ideas, your projects, justice coming in, your coin. You've got Aquamarine communication. So you might be waiting on a communication coming in, whether it's written, phone call, something to say that something's settled, a legal matter's been settled. How you communicate with others is super important too at this time. Do you listen? to another's point of view as well as express your own? Or do you allow others to talk over the top of you? Do you stand up for yourself? Mm -hmm. Some of you, your voice is your gift. Mm. you got pre-night trust. Trust the transformation that you're going through right now is absolutely, you're exactly where you're meant to be. Any changes happening in your life are meant to be happening. Mm. You also have to balance again. Take some time out for self-relaxation. Oh, Spirit's saying you are going to get clarity about what you need to release from self. 
to walk away from, to stand up for self. Mm -hmm. How to move past obstacles. And you've got your inner child here, Rose Quartz. So you may need to do some inner child healing to follow the path you want to follow. You know, you've got so much ancient wisdom coming through very strongly. On the bottom of the deck, you got letting go. All right. Let's pull you some guidance for the Messenger Oracle. Oh, you've got love without conditions. So you being a bit the bigger person in situations that have been a little fractious, mm, not letting people upset you then. Oh, darlings. Oh, God, their energy's off. <laughs> you've got be without malice. I mean, look at that energy. Ooh. Shake it out, darling. Shake it out. I'm going to turn it this way down. Let go of whoever that is in your life. Stand up to them, darlings. Because you've got so many beautiful blessings that want to happen for you, so many new beginnings, and there's an energy here that just drags you down. I've turned them upside down, darling. So let's turn them upside down. You've also got the message to be patient, particularly with the timing of opportunities coming towards you. Oh, they're not going to really like. They're not going to like being turned upside down. They're really going to arc up against boundaries, darlings. I can feel their energy. So it doesn't matter what you do or say, right? They're going to arc up, and that's they always do it. Mm -hmm. Whoever that is, <laughs> put them in the corner, darlings, away from you. Put them in the corner. <laughs> You've got. We're all connected. So you're connected to spirit, animals, past, present, future, lunar cycles. Mm -hmm. You've got to feel that connection. You know, just have courage to follow your dreams, darling. Yes. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. Mostly what's come through is your emotions. Yeah, your lower back. There's attachments related to self. So um, I'll link in the guided meditation playlist on my channel. Do any that do releasing attachments because somebody's trying to attach their energy to you. You're also, some of you, recycling through the past. So you need to release those attachments. Yeah, because you've got your third eye chakra. So this is your intuition. You need to trust your intuition more. And here's your sacral chakra come out again, full of attachments and emotional stuff that needs to be cleared. Mm hmm all right, let's see who you're connected to in the spirit realm right now. Divine gifts and talents. Oh, you're an earth angel. So getting your feet on Mother Earth would be super soothing for you. Protector of Mother Earth and um, animals. Oh, you've got the horse. You absolutely need to step into your personal power. Do you allow others to ride on your back and tell you what to do or do you take the reins of your own life and do what's right for you? And your gift of clear audience, your ability to hear messages from spirit is really heightened at this time. All right, let's have a look at your life path guidance. Oh, here we go. You love helping and protecting animals sitting directly under Earth Angel. That's a passion of yours. Do it, darling. You've got the spirit of an entrepreneur, so you know how to run with your ideas. You're very creative and you prefer to leave work at work. So you do need to have that balance between your personal life and your career. All right, let's pull you some guidance from your healing angels. Oh, you got kindness. It says a kind gesture rekindles your belief in the power of love. Remember to be kind to yourself. Oh, yes, darlings, you need to be kind to yourself. All right, let's pull you a message from the Sacred Rebels Oracle. Beautiful deck by Lana Fairchild. Mm. Oh, yeah, perfect message. <laughs> you pulled Bring It Into Form, which is very much bringing your ideas, your projects to life. Let's pull you up the guidance. Says Sagis. It says, beautiful dreamer, you can imagine wonderful worlds of light. You can dream up so many possibilities. Now is the time to bring those possibilities of light into the world. They need to be more than ideas. They need to live and manifest. 
the world not only needs your dreams, beautiful as they are, but they also need your creations. Get thee to thy desk, thy easel, thy computer. Work, beautiful dreamer. Don't just dream, create. You've been asked to honour yourself with a commitment to complete your inspired tasks. This will help you grow and it's a wonderful reason to commit. There's also another reason and that is to know that your inspired ideas are worth translating into practical forms so other people can access them and experience something special too. If you've been thinking about writing a book, painting a picture or acting on an inspiration or idea, then this oracle is bringing you an unequivocal yes, do it and do it now. Don't dally or dither about the details or worry about how it's all going to work out. The universe loves the bold spirit and once you take that step, it will rush towards you like an enthusiastic and chivalrous lover. Opening doors, hand gently guiding at your lower back as you move forward. You will promptly be provided with all that you need to take that next step. There is sacrifice inherent in translating the perfection of an idea into a physical form. And although something may be lost when turning a multi-dimensional concept of endless potential into something concrete, this oracle guides you to realize that there is much more to be gained. You must become free of this inspiration so you can receive your next inspiration. It's already waiting for you, so on you must go. This oracle also confirms the information you need to translate your ideas into form will be provided according to the higher wisdom of life. It may or may not happen on traditional routes, even if it seems unimaginable. When it is time for something to be born into form, nothing can stop it. It will happen. And there's an affirmation here. It says, I am energized and empowered to bring my ideas to life. I release any fear they won't live up to the perfection of my ideas or fantasies. I give them permission to become what they want to be in service to life. In releasing these ideas into form, I open up to receive new ideas and inspirations. I'm helped with this process through unconditional love for the greater good. So be it. Oh, darlings, just get started working on them. <laughs> do it now. Spirit saying, do it now. All right, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below on how this reading resonated with you. Do reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need extra guidance and support at this time. Uh, booking link is on this video and down below. Uh, also, go and check out your Star Sign coffee mugs. They are running below this video designed by moi, yours truly. Yes. And for now, take it easy. Much love, much light. Namaste.